Hi, this is the CAD CAM Lessons channel. In this video, I will show you how to design this part in FreeCAD. At first, it might seem like an easy part, but beginner FreeCAD users might have a small problem with it. However, you just need to learn one function that allows this. Before we start, just a quick note, you'll find links to my FreeCAD courses in the description. It's also a great way to support the channel. Now I will switch to a new project and show you how to make such a part. We start creating the part by creating a parametric part. We click the parametric part button here, and we will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Here we will create a circle whose center will lie at this point with a diameter of 30 millimeters. Okay, and based on this, we will create a solid by extruding the sketch to 150 millimeters. We have something like this, and now we will create a second sketch. We select create sketch and we'll create a sketch on the XZ plane. Here I will switch to section view and create a circle with a diameter of 15 millimeters more or less in this spot. Now I select dimensioning and define the distance of the circle's center point from the origin of the coordinate system as 20 millimeters in the x axis and in the y axis. I close the sketch. And based on this sketch, I will create a pocket in the solid. Here I select the through all pocket type and symmetric to plane and click OK. And we have something like this. Now that we have such a pocket, many people approach this by first creating, for example, a polar pattern. Here, let's add, for example, five occurrences around the Z axis. Okay, we have something like this. And then, based on this, beginner FreeCAD users try to create a linear pattern. However, this won't work because we cannot do it this way in FreeCAD. In this program, we simply need to apply a different approach. We can do it, but we just have to do it the way it's done in FreeCAD. I press Ctrl Z to undo this operation. And now I select the operation based on which I want to perform these two patterns and select the Create Multi Transform command. Now we click the right mouse button here and select the operations we want to apply here. First, we can apply a linear pattern. OK, here, let's choose the base Z axis as the direction. Enter 120 millimeters as the length of the pattern here. Because, well, the height of the solid is 150 millimeters. The center of the first element is offset from the bottom edge of the solid by 15 millimeters. And I would like the center of the last element to be offset from the top edge of the solid by 15 millimeters as well. And here we specify the number of occurrences, for example, 10. And we have something like this. And now, within this operation, we create another pattern. We click the right mouse button here and now select Add Polar Pattern. Here, let's choose the base Z axis as the pattern axis. And for the number of elements, let's enter 5, for example. We wait a moment for the calculation. And we have something like this. Click OK. As you can see, FreeCAD has to think for a moment here. It has to calculate this. And as you can see, we can do such things in FreeCAD. We just need to learn the method for creating this type of part in this system. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like more videos like this, consider subscribing.